It's Bourbonite. It's an uncorking. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we have something in the bag. Sarah, something what, in the bag. What's in the bag? Uh, it's Jack Daniels Bonded Rye. It's an unwrapping it's an, and an uncorking. It's an unwrapping. Uh, Maybe an unscrewing, I think. Who knows what it is. But this is how it came. Mm. Struggles. Oh dear. <laughs> Twine dust. So don't expect to see it all pretty like this in the B-roll because I doubt I'll be able to get it back in there. <laughs> You're like that person that opens Christmas presents really meticulously so you don't, I'm just like, just rip it. <laughs> the wrapping paper's so pretty. I know. We could save it for next year. Uh huh, that's him. There she is. Jack Daniels Bonded Dry, here mm -hmm. we go. Uh, this is a 700 milliliter, just like the other two in their bonded line. But it also comes in a larger size, right? Yeah, it comes in a liter as well. And the 700 milliliter is 31.99. Sorry, I didn't mean to jab you there. <laughs> 31.99 suggested retail price. Mm -hmm. Some of you all might be thinking that we've been doing a lot of Jack Daniels recently and you're not wrong. They keep coming out with stuff. Like I feel like presence wise on the general shelf, like they've had the most new releases that I can think of this year in an affordable, available price like category. Well, not all the stuff we reviewed from them has been available. Like the, the Stiller series. I mean, that's Tennessee true. Only, but. but we have talked about all three. Like this is the third one in its bonded series. Right. And I feel like coming out with a bonded series for an affordable price in 2023 is kind of a big, Mm -hmm. Kind of a big deal. I was wrong. It is a cork. Pause for cork pop. Whoa. And I'm corking. So yeah, the triple bonded mash, and oh. then the the uh, the bonded, bonded Tennessee bourbon. or bonded um, wh Tennessee whiskey. Whiskey. My apologies. Both came out the same year. This is another permanent line extension. This is the third. Uh, don't get too close. It splashed me in the eye. Those of you in the first row are in the splash zone. How did that even happen? All we need is one more bonded from them, then we can do a blind fly fight. Oh, so, then we'll have the infinity gauntlet. Let's, yeah. <laughs> I am. We have the power. Whiskey. It's 70% rye, 18% corn, and 12% malted barley. Yeah, there's right there in the rye middle of bill. the rye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, you guys know what bald and bond is or bonded. If you don't, we've got videos out there about it, but this meets all those standards. Uh, the short of it is it's 100 proof and at least four years old. Mm, very highly regulated. That's perfumey. It's more fruity, ripe fruity. I don't know. That's not where I was going. I think I get like toasty oak, marshmallow, a little bit of fruit. Yeah, kind of desserty, a little bit of oak. I get perfume on it. I mean, I'm not saying no to the floral. It just wasn't what jumped out at me at first. Yeah. And the rye is a different type of rye. It's not like your pine, baking your, spice. yeah, pine needles and forest and foliage and eucalyptus, but it's a inviting nose. Mm. I dig it. Yeah. I'd I like to like, see what it tastes like now. Sure. If there's a lot of notes on it, I think to dig into for something that is of this range. To your health. Whoa. More rice spices than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Like a dry clove. Yes. Dry clove. Ooh, it's very warm. A on the little tongue. bit, a little bit of eucalyptus. I didn't so much get that on the nose, but um, it is there. Second sip, Sarah, already going in. I'm letting Don't pass the, judgment on my process. I'm letting the finish kind of settle in because it does have a medium long finish and it is going into that uh, Tennessee yeah. mug there. Dry clove, pepper on the finish, a little bit of oak. It builds there. Almost tropical fruit or like a melon. Uh, I could see that. Yeah and honey sort of there mm -hmm. when you actually let the finish <laughs> when you actually let the finish settle excuse in excuse me second step. taste is subjective so you're neither right or wrong it is a medium long finish for you know it goes on that that yeah. warm spice hangs out the second sip i'm getting more of the barrel for sure yeah nice toasty oak i like mm. that well what i would like to do is kind of let it sit here in the glass for about five or 10 minutes, see how it opens up. Uh, we'll take a break, but through the magic of editing, it won't seem like we've taken any time at all. But this is a perfect time to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, this new color of bourbon, America's only native spirit t-shirt, the long sleeve that you're wearing, Sarah. Or a short sleeve of this. That's correct. Uh, the water glass you're drinking from, of course, our Glen Cairns we're drinking from. We also have copitas and rocks glasses, pins, challenge coins, bottle cut candles, a new batch of those, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com, where, where you can also get event tickets, <sighs> like our E.H. Taylor barrel proof tasting of batch one through batch six, and also our big bourbon night, which is the next night after that E.H. Taylor uh, yeah. event. If so. you're available on November 9th and 10th and gonna be in or around Lexington, Kentucky, mm -hmm. go check out those event tickets. 
We'd love to have you join us. There's only 10 tickets left for that E.H. Uh, e. Taylor tasting so, and correct. dinner. Yeah. So. At the time of this filming, anyway. At the time of this but filming. But that's whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And they got first crack at all those event tickets. Uh, depending on your tier, you get discounts on the merch that Chad was talking about. And to get exclusive access to our barrel picks, our latest Nulu is out now. And we'll be right back. And we're back. We've let it sit here. Let's see what's happened. I get less of that like floral that you were talking about on the nose. It's more of just the oak and toastiness coming through for me and the spice. Well, for the first time, I remembered that uh, Jack Daniels is Brown Foreman and I got a little bit of that Brown Foreman banana. I got that from the get, but like I tried to refrain from saying that since some people have take issue <laughs> with, they're like, well, they're different. different and I'm like, stillers. no, I recognize that, but they all seem to have this, I don't know if they're using like similar, maybe they're using the same yeast strains. I'm not a distiller, but all I can tell you is it has that note that makes me narrow it down to like, oh, this is probably a brown format product, mm -hmm. which is that like toasty, marshmallowy fruit. Sometimes it's banana. Sometimes it's banana runts. But with like- Sometimes, yeah. With Old Forester, yeah, it's, it's like more banana, orange, cherry, mm -hmm. brown sugar. Yeah. Woodford, kind of the same notes. I mean. But with this being the rye though, I think that might've been what kind of kept that at bay because mm, mm -hmm. it's got uh, a lot of those rye spices in there, the uh, the clove spice particularly. It does have that kind of like tropical melon fruit yes, note on the uh, nose too. Yes, that's the same before, like that yeah. tropical vibe. All right, here we go. I feel the same as before. Mm. Maybe more oak coming through now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still get that clove, but I feel like it's less drying now yeah. that it's been sitting here for a few minutes. Yeah, I want to take, a second sip after coming back and waiting for a while, but I'm, I feel like it's going to sort of do what it did when we had our first sip. Like the first sip, it's more of the fruits and the baking spices and the clove. And then the second sip, I feel like it's more of that barrel is gonna kind of come on top of it. So let's see if I'm right. Yeah, I kind of do feel like you get, I mean, get more of that barrel on the second time. It's Yeah, it's still the clove is there. Mm -hmm. It's just mostly, yeah, barrel, clove and pepper and fruit. Juicy, <laughs> tropical-y. Yeah. I don't know. And for 100 proof, it's got some perception of, of uh, kind of heat, right? Yeah, I mean, the finish is, I think again, that's the rye doing the work with the spice mm -hmm. notes. It's making it feel a little bit higher proof. I think it's helping the finish stick around for a little longer, giving you a little bit more hug. Mm -hmm. I think personally, this is a very solid bottle to pick up if you're heading to like a tailgate or something this fall when it's a little yeah. bit crisp outside. Oh yeah. Um, and you want something that's like good quality, you know, it's gonna get the job done, but people could mix it if they wanted to. Uh, and it's not gonna break the bank, right? It's something that you could take for 32 bucks, pick it up on your way. Mm -hmm. If you are opposed to rise generally, I feel like you're not gonna have the best time with this one because there is even some though, spice. yeah, it's not like a 95.5, but it's also not a barely legal rye, it's 70% rye. It still has a lot of spice. So if you're sort of, if you sort of you're avoid yeah. rise, I think. Go this, with the triple, uh, triple, Bonded mash, or triple yeah. mash bond. The, yeah, the triple mash, which the, is bonded. Go with that one instead. Um, <laughs> yeah, you agreed. Know, same series, so mm -hmm. do that one instead. But I I like it. I would pick this up for like the cases that I said. Yeah, yeah, 32 bucks uh, for 700 mil, and I think the liter is like around 40 something. Absolutely. Uh, it is a recommend in both of our books, and I'm glad to see this being another permanent line extension. I want them again. Want them to come out with one more bonded. I Just so we can do a flight. We'll write them. What they would do exactly, but. Uh... I have no idea. Maybe just an older, like they're now they're doing the older aged. True. Stuff. Maybe they could do like an age stated uh, bonded, like a, like a eight, 10 year bonded. Eight, or eight year, eight or, 10? eight or 10 bonded. I think that would be great. Write them. Let them know that this is our thoughts. <laughs> we need to do the flight fight and therefore we need them to produce this product for us. Yeah, so if they could do that. If they could do that, it'd be by great. By next year, that yeah. would be great. Um, yeah, in general, really happy with this series. Really happy mm -hmm. to see again, a big distillery come out. You know, a, the trend the past few years has been Ellie, Ellie, you know, limited edition, high price, high proof. That was L-E. High age. She wasn't saying L-E. Yeah. L-E. L -E limited edition. L dot E dot. Mm -hmm. Limited edition. It's nice to see some companies say, hey, we recognize we also need to balance this out with some affordable quality. For sure. Available products. So. Yes. There we go. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed us already, you know what you can do? You can do so. You can click right up here to do that. There's suggestions of other videos down here and I hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Jack Daniels. Make one more, please. Until next time, drink more rye.